All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving another question in today's video, and we have this question from second chapter of Miriam textbook, problem 63, and we have this aircraft that there are two forces of two kilonewton applying at the two propeller thrusts, and the question is asking uh, what force F must be exerted by the ground on each wheel at point A and B, so these two to counteract the turning effect of the two problems and we have a note at the end of the question that we can neglect the effect of the nose wheel at C which as we can see is turn 90 degrees so we won't consider any force at point C just for the sake of solving this question and as we can see these two forces are making a couple and what's going to happen is that the air pillow is going to turn in this direction which we have to avoid the move by putting two different forces at point a and b in order to cancel the effect of these two i'm just going to draw the free body diagram in here so we have these two forces of two kilonewton here and there and we have two point a and b let's call one of them fa and the other one fb I'm not going to show any direction actually for now. So we have two forces at A and B. I'm not going to show any direction just to show you guys how we can figure that out. So let's just keep it uh, this way for now and we're going to figure out what's the direction in here. So we, we are uh, we have two ways to solve this. First we can go with the so as I said these two forces are making a couple because they are two equal force that are in the opposite direction and they're not calling here so these are the three characteristics that we have for the couple and basically what we're gonna make at point a and b is something that's gonna make a couple exactly the same amount of that one in order to cancel out the turning effect of the the couple that we have from these two forces so we know that this point is a and this point is what we are trying to achieve in this question is to have the moment is this equation regardless of which point we have to get it zero so let's just go with the point of b then we can cancel out uh, one of these forces i'm doing this just to figure out the direction of our force at point a and b and from the question we know that the force in a and b is the same and they're both f so we already know that the magnitude of the force and if we want to go with the moment of point b we have the moment of the two kilonewton force on top and also we can figure out these distances in here since the figure is because of the symmetry of the airplane we know 5 minus 3 is going to be 2 which will be basically this this one plus this one so 2 divided by 2 so each of these will be 1 meter so if we try to find the moment of the 2 kilonewton on top we can see the moment is counterclockwise about point B so positive 2 times distance that we have is what we have from here to here which is three plus one or four that's that moment also we have the moment of two kilonewton at the bottom that one's also counterclockwise so two and the distance to b is one and here in order to have these two equal to zero we have to have a clockwise moment so we need a negative sign that shows the force that is applying at point a is to the right in order to make a clockwise moment about point b and to cancel out the moments that we are getting from the other two forces so if that's the case uh, we have the force f which we have to figure out the magnitude and the distance is pretty much the distance that we have from a to b which is 3 equal to 0 and our f in here will be 10 divided by 3 or 3.33 kilonewton and that's the force that we are looking for in this question so if that's what that one is to the right as i mentioned how uh, we can try to do the same thing and find a moment about point a and whatever we did in the previous step everything will be the same and if we do that we'll see that we have to have the force at b to the left and also from the other way that i mentioned in the in the question at the very beginning we have the moment we have the couple that is produced by these two force we have to make another couple by these two in a clockwise direction in order to cancel out the other two so yeah that's the so again this is the right direction for the force at a and b and the magnitude that we have for f will be 3.33 kilonewtons and that would be the final answer for this question. So yeah, you guys let me know if you have any questions, drop it in the comment 
or if you have any other solutions feel free to share it in the comment section that everybody can benefit from that and don't forget to subscribe to this channel like it comment it's gonna help me to reach out to more students faster and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one